Welcome back everyone, how is everyone doing? And today we have another RC revival, let's call them like that. This is another RC I found in my local bazaar. I paid two euros for it in this condition, a little bit dirty. It isn't a Subaru, it's a Superu. Of maybe they didn't have the, the rights to do the Subaru. It's pretty complete, of course, there's no controller. It's missing the wing, but that's easy to print. We're gonna do a nice, a little bit dirty. We're gonna give it a wash, a little bit of windshield. You can see it inside. You can't see it now, but you can see the seats. There's not the uh, uh, night use bubbles inside. So I don't know what the rally car has sound system on the back, but this one has. You can kind of see it. I already took it apart. And it's missing the, of course, missing the battery pack and the battery cover. I took it apart already to see if it if it works. It does, but it has some issues. Someone, you can see the uh, the mud in it. Someone took it probably off roading. It has like the old bulbs. This is 27 megahertz. I got a controller that will fit that one. A lot of cables was disconnected from it. This is, I disconnected the battery, but the rest was some of them like the engine just broke. But it's complete, I'm trying to, I'm gonna... Uh, I have an issue here, but I don't know if that's maybe... I could even 3D print some wheels for it, but I don't think so, I just want to keep it maybe like it is. You can see it has the lead. They broke, unfortunately, from the board, even though I know where to solder them. And uh, the thing that cut me a little bit off guard is, I did not remember and uh, how to connect the steering. Because it broke before I have the chance to see. But I saw that if you can see closer here, you can see that there's a, like a pinhole and here too. So I took my multimeter. I connected the battery to my multimeter, put my ends here, and when I turn the, the when I steer it with the remote, it gives me positive and negative uh, feedback here, positive and negative voltage here. So I know that this is where I have to connect the steering. This is an older type of uh, board. It has two relay. It works on a base on a relay. So basically one relay is uh, forward, backward, and probably one will be a higher speed. That's why it has two positive uh, cables. So probably it goes directly to the motors. It has a big motor. So probably it goes directly to the motor. From the relay directly to the motor. So they were the board, the only thing the board is, it activates the relays. So there's no probably stress and voltage on the board. But like I said, I don't have the, I do not have the remote, so I don't think so I'm gonna make the higher speed work for a moment. I could swap the board and just, or make a custom, um, custom board with another relay to give all the power to the motor, but there's no point of it for now. It's just a toy grade car, so what's the point of messing it and making it so complicated? So... I have another controller. This controller, it's again, it's a 27 megahertz. And this, when I open it inside, it has that kind of weird, it doesn't have a potentiometer, but it has like a, a like a plate, uh, let's call it a plate with a slider on a plate that it slides from one one side to, uh, from one uh, connection to another connection. So basically this may work with a higher, with other speed. We're gonna see if it will even pair with this. Uh, I had something similar before, a similar car, but not a su su Superu. I had an uh, Evo 6. Uh, I believe the scale is something like 1.8, something in that size. It is a nice model, it's a little bit clean up, and we're gonna just put everything out of the body so I can wash it because it's really dirty. You can see you got the steering one, you have the steering box, the board with the motor and the gearbox, gearbox, whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna go and wash it and then together with the body and then we're gonna assemble it and fix it. So I put everything back after I clean it. I put the board, it's all connected. I resolder some of them. This is not my best soldering job, but I have soldered. I did add new solder to them to have the better connections. 
I put them all, the, all the cables are back how they were before. Touch the antenna. I clean it the best way I could. I have added the connector. I changed the connector from three poles to two. Of course, I 3D printed the cover. It was okay if it's uh, if it's orange. This will be available for free to download. With all the links, on the links will be in the down in the description. This is a little bit too small because I did a mistake, and I did not, I did not add it. I printed it with the wrong dimensions. But the one in the files will come with the right dimensions. <clears throat> as far as the body is, I have cleaned it the best way I could again. The of course the windshield is scratched, and I have uh, designed and printed a rally style wing which this did not have. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it in orange because I do like how it contrasts with the whole car with the blue. Of course, it has my logo. It is in a WRX uh, rally style wing, but not a copy, my own version of it. It screws on the original screw holes. Again, this will be unavailable for free to donor. The links will be in the description. And now it's time to put it all together. So let's put the, this is the interior, interior of it. Of course, it has the NAS bottle. I don't know what kind of radical has a sound system, but this one has. So let's put this okay, in so the Okay, so I have added the lights that it had before. Those are not LEDs, those are just simple regular, I think, 12 volts by uh, bulbs. Those are not LED. I'm not planning to add LED for a moment. This is just to fix it, play with a little bit with it, and then put it on a shelf. This uh, left wheel was bent, the whole axle was bent, so I just took a little bit of a pry bar, slowly not to break the plastic, and I bent it back. So now everything should be working fine, and we're gonna close it, and let's test so drive I finish it. it. I put the body already on the chassis, you can see it. Now I'm charging the batteries. After we charge the batteries, we're gonna go and give it a test ride. But before that, I need to put this missing one more mirror. So I need to go and design another mirror and put this mirror back in just to complete the look. As you can see, it's not a Subaru, in the Superu. Probably they didn't have the rights to copy a Subaru, so they just changed the name. You can see all the different names here. Big Book, Dinosaur, Sis. Stems, header tat, world paint, snappy on, on turbo, and king good, king's good. It's not an STI, and an SOT, Super o Team International, it's a motor, Super Global.com, power, power free, Piazza Balls, really. Then say number one solarium. It's a really unique ride. Of course, it's a right hand drive. Doesn't have the lights on the back. It's okay. Doesn't have an exhaust. I may add one, probably not. But this is it. So let's go and print out the mirror which will be again available for free, the links will be down in the description. I wanted to do an orange wheels on it, but I said mm, it's too much work for something that is not worth much to begin with. It's a nice, it will be a nice display. Eventually it will go into my new house for a display. So let's go and make the mirror and let's test So those are the mirrors, ready? This is my design. I try to make them as close as I could to, go to the original one. But of course, it's a little bit different. I printed two left and right, you can see it. It's, uh, it has two pins to lock in place where the original mirrors go. Again, this will be, they will be available for free to download, or the description will be down below. And that's it.
we are done with this project this project comes to an end for now as you can see this isn't a slow car this isn't a slow rc like i said this is the old good times with the even the cheap rc was kind of good the quality was not so bad with the hard bodies and everything like i said i had something similar before i think it was the same that it was a mitsubishi evo so and i saw one of them in my local bazaar but i did not pick it up and now i cannot find it but i will try to get it so we can complete the set of them it was an easy job to do like i said it was missing the controller but luckily i had a controller ready from a different buy that i did it needed the spoiler of course it needed the mirror and the, uh, the battery cover of course we did the shocks and after riding it pretty pretty hard the shark still hold, there's no cracks, there's nothing, so they're pretty good. There's nothing else to say about it, like I said, this car comes from the times that the, even the cheap RCs, the RCs that you could buy in your local toy store were made in a decent quality as this one is. And this is pretty fast, so I am 100% sure that you can take it for off-road if you want, and I don't believe you're gonna break it. It has some wear and tear here and there. I don't think so I'm gonna do anything else with that. I'll wait for my nephew to grow and probably he will be the one to uh, drive it. Somewhere I saw a date of 2004. So imagine if this car, this IC car is 18 years old and doesn't have big damage, doesn't have... Uh, it's in, in a decent condition, let's say like that. And it works, the electronics works, the uh, motors works. The wheels are not dry, the tires are not dry, rutted or anything like that. Like I said, the only issue this had was the remote, few exterior pieces and one of the wheels was, uh, one of the axles for that holds the front wheel was bent. And that's it. Like I said, I paid 2 euros for it. I don't think so, I have more than, uh, I don't know, maybe I, the parts that I printed are on 2 euros and I think the remote is 1 euro, so what, I have 6 euros in it. I believe it's worth it for what it is. This is a 1.8 scale as I can figure it out from the wheelbase. I like this model. It's one of my favorite right now that I have. And like I said, I like just like the no nostalgia, the retro of them. And like I said, for the price that I bought this one and fixed it, I believe it was worth every euro that I put in it. Those parts, like the spoiler, the the cover underneath for the battery, the mirrors, everything will be available for free to download. All the links will be down in the description. So, whoever wants a 1 each scale Subaru copy, not copy my design, but Subaru inspired wing, can go and download it. Uh, of course, the same with the mirrors, the mirrors will be available to download. Similar to this one, but not quite, a little bit different. This uh, points a little bit higher, this points straight. And uh, that's it for watching, subscribe, like and share and I hope I will see you in the next one.